Clifton, Cape Town, South Africa, a unique residential concave nestled on Lion's Head Table Mountain, boasting some of the finest and most exclusive properties in Africa. This bijou area is known for spectacular views over the sandy beaches, crystal blue waters, boulder outcrops, the 12 Apostles mountain range, and sunset views over the Atlantic Ocean. We have toured quite a few architectural wonders along this shoreline. And today, we are proud to present another Sayota masterpiece. Welcome to Obsidian, let's start the tour. All right, guys, so we're going to start our tour today on the driveway, as per usual, of this beautiful masterpiece behind me. Let's just talk about what I'm looking at. In front of me is the Atlantic Ocean with the Clifton beaches down below. We've got beautiful vegetation around, reminding us we're on a mountain, back in nature, beautiful foliage. And now let's turn and face the property. We have an incredible cladding on the garage and this entry level of a stained oak Above that, we've got the first floor, which is a self-contained apartment. And that is completely surrounded by these stone gabions, which looks super majestic. And it's giving us the effect and the feel that we're on a mountain. And that's exactly what this property is trying to achieve. As you'll see, as we work our way up the levels of this house, you'll feel like we're climbing a mountain as we go from this dark stone foot. And as we rise, it gets lighter in tone and color and vegetation. And by the time you get to the top, you literally feel like you're on top of paradise, but we'll get there. All right, back to the driveway. We can fit five cars quite comfortably on this drive. Another five on the driveway outside of the gate and inside the garage, two SUVs or three medium sized to small cars. All right, guys, let's head over to this grand entrance. And that's really what it is. Just look how amazing this is with the aluminium, the massive glass picture windows. Now let's head up these steps, this beautiful floating staircase using a natural stone which continues into the entry level. And now before we enter, I would like to talk about the specs of the property. It has five bedrooms, all en suite. You've got eight bathrooms throughout the house. An interior size of 1,590 square meters can accommodate up to 10 guests and you can rent it and experience Obsidian for 90,000 Rand to 170,000 Rand, depending on the season. And lastly, I'd like to thank In Residence for inviting us into their listing today. All right, guys, let's continue the tour. Welcome inside this beautiful foyer. As you can see, the dark tones continue throughout this level. We've got a beautiful stained oak flooring and it continues on this ribbon staircase. I love the way it ribbons up. It's like an architectural marvel in its own right. And moving forward, we have an elevator. Now this elevator serves the entry first and second floor, but there is a second elevator in the house, which we'll see a little bit later, which serves the upper and private floors. And through this door is the garage. And there is staff quarters as well on the other side of the garage, which has one bedroom is fully self catered. Now I'd like to go this way and take the staircase up to the first floor coming out this beautiful staircase with the stained oak flooring, the seamless glass rails, allowing the light to transition nicely through this space. And from here, remember, we're on the first floor right now and I'm seeing almost a perfect sea view. Exquisite. Now, the staircase again, I can see how the ribbons fold. It is perfectly designed. And the wall behind is actually a rough screening, which looks really, really cool and fits this level of the house perfectly. Now, through this door is a self-catered apartment, which we're gonna check out. Come with me. Stepping on inside to the self-catered one bedroom apartment on this floor. Now, the idea for this space is to be secluded from the rest of the house, to make it feel like a cave, like you don't have to leave this area and it has a dark tone, a dark mood, and they've done that so well by representing it with these beautiful finishes, the dark wood on the cladding, the cabinetry, this beautiful exposed concrete wall behind me. We've got a red, dark resin flooring. Let's head this way into the kitchen. 
lovely long island in the middle. We've got bar seating on that side. It's a stainless steel countertop and this really cool oiled metal plating around, just giving it a really cool effect. Moving down, gas hob, oven down below, nice LED feature over here. And right above us, about three point something meters above my head is the extraction fan. Turning around, awesome cabinetry. Again, I love this dark resin oak that they've been using. And specifically, I love this cavity they've built in the middle with the mood lighting around and the light is reflecting perfectly off that dark feature wall with the tiles. Now in front over here, we've got a stainless steel sink, beautiful faucets, lovely countertop. Heading this way, love the dark tones on this wooden cladding over here. And through this door is actually the guest powder room. Let's go on inside. Really cool place for your guests to freshen up. Real dark tones. And this sink is just super unique. I love the stone. It's amazing. Now, let's head on out and check out the dining room. Beautiful dining room table right in the middle. Guests can look out over the ocean. It's great. It's a real nice social area, this. Beautiful lounge over here. The furnishings in this house are amazing and they only get better as we climb up. We've got a gas fireplace over here. We've got your TV and we have these incredible sliding doors opening up to this thin balcony along this level. Heading on down, it does lead into the primary bedroom. Let's go on inside and have a look. This is luxury. This is pure luxury. The tiles below us are a natural hand chiseled stone that has been chosen perfectly. And we have the same stone that goes up on the other levels and it does get lighter. Views over the ocean that way. Sliding door opening up, turning around. Beautiful bed. We've got a featured cork headrest behind. We've got the exposed concrete behind that. And right in front of me is this amazing pillar with the dark stained oak going right up to the ceiling. And on either side, we do have slide in pocket doors so you can close the space off, making it feel super exclusive in here with an amazing mood, the darker tones. I mean, it's really cool. Now, heading on in to the ensuite, beautiful large bathroom. The first thing that strikes my eye is this black bathtub right in the middle. You can lie back here and still watch the ocean. Amazing. Two vanity stations, mirrors, lighting down below. We have an awesome, very large walk-in shower with the water closet. Turning this way, we've got the built-in cabinetry, which are mirrored. And the best part about this bathroom, on either side, here and there, we've got these slide pocketed wooden doors, which close off the space nicely. And you can imagine how cozy it can feel in here. You can get some candles lit. I mean, it's an amazing space, almost like a dark spa. Now guys, I wanna head out of here and I'll see you back at the staircase and we're gonna head up to the second floor. Coming up to the second floor of the home. This is a transitional space. We have a green terrace and barbecue area. As you enter, look at the size of these picture windows, letting in beautiful amounts of natural light, ocean views. Come on this way. Got the hand chiseled stone flooring again. We've got the two elevators on this floor, which we'll see in a moment. Coming this way outside to the barbecue area, We've got the hand chiseled stone flooring below me, formal dining area serving the barbecue station or correctly said in South Africa, a braai station. We've got a sink over there and above me, we've got some down lighting that's attached to the slatted box canopy, which we're gonna experience better from the bedrooms level above. But I just wanted to point that out because it's quite beautiful here as well. Turning around, facing this magnificent view, crystal blue waters today. And we can see the 12 apostles from here, lovely bench seating, nice foliage on the outcrops. And to my right and left, we have two forest bush willow trees, which will eventually grow up through those cavities. But we'll talk about that a little bit more upstairs. 
Coming over here, I just want to point out, we've got a server and generator room and also the, another garden area. Now let's head back on inside and check out the guest powder room of this level. Now, to my right is the elevator which connects to the entry level, which we saw before. Coming in through here, in front of me is a laundry room, behind me are linen cupboards, and through here is another guest powder room, really unique. I love the brick tiling that they have as the back wall on both sides, but more importantly, I really, really appreciate this stone vanity sink over here. I think this is quite um, an interesting touch that Sayota likes to do in all the houses. We always find these natural stone chiseled sinks and I just love them so much, super unique. Now, stepping on out of the guest powder room, we're back into this foyer over here. We have the second elevator over here, which serves the third, fourth, and fifth floors of the house. Another staircase, which does turn into the beautiful ribbon style staircase, which we saw before. But I don't know if you can notice, the wood is starting to lighten as we climb levels of this house, and the same goes for the walls as well. All right, guys, I am going to see you on the bedrooms level, floor number three. I'm going to take the elevator. I'll see you there. coming out of the elevator into this beautiful bedrooms level. The tones have brightened up. It's a lot warmer in here with the flooring, the cabinetry, the furnishings. Can't wait to get started. But before we do, lovely foyer coming out of the elevator. And I just wanna draw our attention here quickly. We've got a full home automation system. It controls all the lights in the house, the air conditioning, the blinds, the front gate, and the sound system on the entertainment level. So I just wanted to bring that up because I think that's really, really cool. Now, below me, the floor is divided to natural oak flooring, but over here, we have a light gray grained tile, which just suits this area perfectly. This does lead to the staircase, which we'll get to later. But first, let's check out this room. Come with me. First room on this floor, at the back of the property, mountainside. Look at these beautiful furnishings, guys. Amazing, so soft, the colors that are popping out, and you can see how it's brightened up quite a lot. I love these textured walls from hemp fiber. We've got hemp rugs below, which span the entire area of this room. And stepping on up into the ensuite, all of the bedrooms are ensuite, and this is just exquisite. This is a Labradorite stone. All the vanity stations on this level have Labradorite, but this one specifically is amazing. The amount of blue crystal that you can see in the lighting here, I hope this is pick, being picked up on camera, Ryan, because it's amazing. Amazing vanity station, you got your mirror, nice cabinetry below, you got your built-in cupboards over here, with the lighter tone oak again. We have a bronze bathtub, which is great very large walk-in shower and a water closet. And this space can be cozied up and made private by closing this curtain, which is great. Stepping on down back into the room, I'd like to bring up that it has exquisite lighting in here with the play on the lamps and the down lighting and they're all dimmable. It's an amazing space. Now, stepping out of this room, it does have on either side pocket slide in doors to close off the space. Moving this way, we've got a storage cupboard over there, storage room over there. Beautiful bookshelving, and as you can see, the lighter tone wood paneling to represent this area a little bit more. A nice island here in the center with a quartzite countertop, and it just flows beautifully into this informal dining area, solid wooden table, and to my left, we have this kitchenette area to serve this space so the family can enjoy meals together. 
maybe watch a movie afterwards in the lounge, we'll get there. We've got a sink, mini fridge, we've got a dishwasher, it's got toaster and coffee stuff as well. Coming this way, the stone flooring ends and now we step onto this exquisite light European oak flooring and I'd actually like to give big props to Oggy Flooring for doing all the flooring of this house and the hand chiseled stone tiling and of course say Ota for designing such a masterpiece. I have fallen in love with this house. I think this is their best design personally from the ones that I have been into. And also I'd like to give a big props to Cecil and Boyd Interiors for choosing such beautiful furnishings. I mean, as you can see, the furniture in this space does lighten up quite a lot. It's a beautiful couch, a solid stone coffee table. We have a gas fireplace over here and it's all overlooking that view. That's the main part of this experience is being on a mountain and looking over the ocean. Now, I'd like to head into the second bedroom of this floor. We have the ensuite to my left with the bronze bathtub again. We've got a walk-in water closet. The walk-in shower to my left. And I love the green tiling, the gloss green tiling that they've used is beautiful. And another one of these fabulous Labradorite vanity stations. I love this stone. I didn't realize how much I love this stone until I've seen it in this house and paired with the tones of the wood used here specifically. Beautiful faucets, you've got your mirror. I love these wall sconces as well. Now, heading out of the bathroom, we have a little desk set up here. On the other side is the bed, but before we get there, I'd like to talk about this. This bedroom and the one on the other side have these zen spots, just bringing like tranquility to the space. It's very hard in Clifton, especially on the steep slope of this mountain to get big backyards and gardens like you'd be used to in flatter areas. So Sayota are absolutely genius. They've like introduced these little pockets of tranquility to the space so you can enjoy the outside. And it has beautiful greenery as well. Sea views. I love these steel gabions with the stones too. It's feeling like the mountain. Stepping back on inside, the bed is perfectly situated in the center, overlooking that view. It does have a shared terrace with the rest of the floor. Let's head down and check out the third bedroom. Before I actually leave, I'd like to bring up that this room also has sliding, slide in pocket doors, which just close up this space nicely. Now, heading on down, opens up beautifully to the outside terrace and another seating area. But first, let's go this way. This is my favorite room on this level. Maybe because of the size, but I think it's mostly because of the exposure it has to nature and the views, the 12 apostles. So I can see the 12 apostles from here, the blue ocean. Remember the bed is perfectly situated in the middle. I mean, imagine going to sleep here or waking up here. You're like you're immediately starting your day with the, like, the biggest inspiration for life, like crystal blue waters. At least that is for me. Like seeing the ocean when I wake up in the morning is super important. Coming this way, nice seating area over here. We've got the slatted box canopy that wraps around this whole level, even to the bedrooms. Another tranquil Zen garden area. And you can see the sun is on this side of the property right now. Just making it feel really good. The nature smells amazing as well. Heading this way, we have another desk set up over here. I mean, even doing some work here in the morning, cup of coffee, looking at that view, amazing. Stepping on into the ensuite, got the natural stone flooring below me the cool warm colors of the wood. I love the built-in cabinetry, an amazing bathtub. Again, a bronze bathtub. I don't know if you've noticed, but all the bathtubs on this floor have been different colors, but they've all been bronze with the same shape. We have a Labradorite island in the middle with some cabinetry drawers on this side. Behind me, a very large walk-in shower and walk-in water closet with the very nice green gloss tiles as the feature wall behind some mirrors here and some built-in cabinetry and a beautiful solid wood oak vanity station with mirrors, beautiful faucet and a nice sink below. These doors close, creating a nice intimate cozy space. Can only imagine how amazing it would be with some candles lit up in here. Well, you know what? Just having a bath here and looking at the ocean. Yeah, you can see the ocean from here. I've just realized lying in this bath, glass of champagne and watching the sea. 
Awesome. Now let's head outside to the terrace. As we do, I'm gonna bring up that all the rooms in this house and on all the floors do have air conditioning and automated blinds that come down. Stepping on outside. I mean, we've seen a lot of terraces on this channel, but I think this is my favorite terrace by far. The way it integrates from inside to outside, giving you the perfect indoor, outdoor living experience, which you need when you're living above this on a mountain in Cape Town. The teaked, the decked flooring below, the sun lounges, the cozy seating area, and this box design that's around the house. These screens are movable, so you can adjust and filter the amount of natural light you want coming into this space. It also creates privacy when you close it up. We've opened it up for you guys to give the full effect of the view and the natural light coming in. But if you wanted a more private, intimate space, you can close these screens. They're made from a light aluminum, which is really durable. It also withstands the, you know, the climate in Cape Town and being along the sea. Um, yeah, this is an amazing space. Now, we have two openings, one over here and one over there. And below us are the two forest bush willow trees. And the idea is that over time, they will naturally grow up into this space. It could take maybe a couple more years, a few more years if that, but eventually the trees will be here and the canopy will be here. And imagine how amazing this will be. I mean, the concept to design that, it's amazing. Moving this way, seamless glass railings, which I love because it gives you the perfect viewing experience, especially when you're sitting down as well. We've got the 12 apostles. The ocean is beautiful today. The waves are amazing. I'm loving it. Beautiful spring day in Cape Town. It couldn't be better. And I'd actually like to mention now, we have Ryan with me today doing a role with me. Chris, Chris is in France. He's enjoying a holiday out there. He unfortunately couldn't be on set with us today, but Ryan is with me and I know he is loving this house. What do you think of this house, Ryan? Uh, definitely my top and uh, it's gonna be hard to beat this one. Eh? It is gonna be hard to beat this. All right, guys, let's head out of here, off the terrace and take the staircase upstairs to the entertainment area. Coming up the ribbon staircase from the third floor. The white oak flooring has started. We've got the mood LEDs as well. Nice window over here, vertical window that goes all the way up, bringing nice natural light to the space. And this really cool, rough, screeded wall. Now, coming this way, let's step down to this open plan living area. We have an outdoor courtyard, family TV room, formal dining, a formal lounge, an awesome terrace, and a kitchen. We've got high volume ceilings. I can't wait to work our way around. Let's go this way first. Really, really cozy family TV room. We have a hovering stove fireplace, which I cannot wait to get on for you guys this evening, just next to you, Ryan. I like the shape of this coffee table, the textures in here, really warm, cozy furnishings, which is perfect for the space. I wanna come this way, take a step outside to the courtyard. Now this is a really amazing tranquil spot. Right at the end, there's this beautiful water feature where they've used stones from Table Mountain as the backdrop and it's creating nice tranquil sound as the water drips below. Beautiful greenery and foliage. It opens up to this channel above and it channels air through the house. It's really cool, beautiful out here and tranquil. It opens up on both sides. Stepping back on inside, I want us to have a look at the guest powder room, come with me. A nice little cozy powder room. And what's really cool is this featured cylindrical smooth travertine basin, which fits the space perfectly. We've got this washed out white oak, which continues into the bathroom. And of course on the outside here, and it goes all the way down to the kitchen with some beautiful artwork around. 
Let's move this way. Lovely solid oak flooring again from Oggy Flooring. Formal dining room, beautiful space looking over the ocean, perfectly situated between the lounge, the cozy TV room, and the kitchen just there to my left. Now, also about this floor, this is the only floor that has surround sound. So you'll find surround sound throughout this level. Coming this way into the formal lounge area. How cool is this? Super cozy, love this furnishings. And it's all just like facing that view. That's the main focus. These sliding doors pocket all the way. So we've got pocket indoors, amazing. Above us, we have the off shutter concrete and they used sawn wood. So I don't know if you can tell, and I'll try and get this on camera for you guys, but it's also left the stain of the, the color of the wood on the ceiling. So you've got the grain of the wood and you've got the color of the wood left behind on the exposed concrete. And it's amazing. Just bringing those natural elements into the house beautiful light feature above me. Unfortunately, I don't know who provided it, but if anyone of you do know, please leave it in the comment section below. We'd love to know who did this light. Now, turning our attention this way, above us on this fourth floor, there's another little floor, there's a mezzanine. There's a bridge which connects from the staircase all the way along with glass railings. And as you walk along, you've got a beautiful view of the ocean through the windows above and there's a nice study area up there. Space for two, there's two desks, you have two laptops up there, and of course it brings natural light flooding in. But from up there, when you look down, it just looks so cool. Looking down on your lounge area, maybe you're doing some work and you've got guests coming in off the elevator and you pop your head around and say hello. I just think it's really cool. Now, heading this way, I want us to go into the kitchen and bar area. Before we do, I'd like to draw attention to the floor. On this side of the living room area, we have these exquisite terrazzo, royal terrazzo slabs, hand chiseled from Oggy. And I just think they fit perfectly in this area and the color flow of the house. Turning around, we have this awesome bar area with the mirror backdrop so we can see the ocean and reflecting the light. We have the cupboard doors actually tucking in, but you can have them closed, giving it that seamless fill. So we just have the white oak continuing. Below, we have a white wine fridge and a red wine fridge set to the desired temperatures. And check out this awesome kitchen island and breakfast bar, really cool seating. Looking at that view, we've got these pop-up plug points, which I think are very, very handy. This way over here, we've got a nice sink, more plug points along, gas stove, oven below, a lot of cabinetry. But this window over here actually opens up all the way back, so that half of the kitchen can be open, bringing in some more fresh air. Now, I want us to go this way. We have a swing door. It actually swings both ways, this, just so you know. Leading into the prep kitchen, the chef's kitchen, and the scullery or pantry area. Plenty of cabinetry, another cool kitchen island design, a sink, huge smeg oven with a gas top stove, more cabinetry here, a microwave, and a very large fridge. In front of me, this door leads out to the pool pump area and some storage. Now, I want us to go this way and head to the terrace. Come with me. Stepping on outside to another insane terrace here in Clifton. We are so fortunate and lucky to be able to get to experience these terraces so often. And I must say this obsidian one, I think it beats them all. It's amazing. This beautiful rim flow edge pool flowing off into the ocean. The lovely formal dining area over here serving this area and the barbecue station to my left. We have sun lounges and an awesome seating area. And it's quite cozy. It's not too spaced out. I just think it's the right size. We have the Royal Terrazzo flooring continuing. This pool is heated as well. Views of the 12 apostles, the ocean. Look how perfect the ocean is today. It's so still. We had crazy storms in Cape Town over the weekend. And it's crazy to think that the weather can change this much. Just two days later after a tropical, uh, sorry, a level nine storm, which apparently they've never had here in Cape Town, to this. Absolute paradise, unbelievable. Now, I'd like to talk about what we're on top of right now. We're on top of the slatted box canopy, which we saw below on the third floor. And what that's created is privacy from the road below, 
from the residential houses below, but also has created a noise reduction. So it's blocking off the noise and creating a nice level of privacy. We're set back onto the mountain a little bit more. And to remind us that we're set back onto the mountain a little bit more, they've planted this 75 year old olive tree, which is absolutely magnificent. It's amazing how they've set it here, the foliage, just reminding us, guys, we're on the mountain. And the way this house was built in these box sections and each one just climbing with a gradiency till we get to this level and we feel like, yeah, we're really on top of it now. The colors have come out, there's greenery going on and there's light colors. All right, guys, that does finish this entertainment and living room space. I'm gonna head to the elevator and I'll see you upstairs at the primary suite. See you there. stepping out of the elevator onto the landing of the primary bedroom suite. I just wanna talk about a few things in this area. We have this beautiful skylight above, which transitions into a vertical window that goes down the staircase. This really cool, rough, screeded wall, which you can see now is really light in color as we've come to the top of the house, glass railings up the staircase, and this light oak flooring flows right in to the primary bedroom suite. We step in to this hand chiseled natural stones. And the first thing that catches my eye is this panoramic ocean view, making it feel like I am on the top of the world. I feel like I'm in ultimate paradise. It feels so clean and fresh in here. The lighter colors, the mood is completely different. It's transitioned to the most beautiful and tranquil setting. Now, a few more things about this floor. We've got the cream resin flooring. We have this white washed out wood paneling, which wraps around into the bathroom as well. And to my left, we've got this organic biofuel fireplace with a marble. The, this cupboard does open up and we've got a TV behind and a nice little reading nook over here to enjoy next to the fireplace, because why not? Now, I want us to actually head through into the ensuite and come around to the other side to check out the bedroom. Come with me. Stepping on in to the ensuite, it's very long. It's amazing in here. We've got white cabinetry on both sides of me that go all the way down. Behind me, we have a walk-in shower and water closet with this white and gray marble behind. And what I love about these cabinets, I just love to, I really want to show you, are just the LED mood lighting strip they have inside, which makes it super easy at night time to see your clothes. We've got mirrors along as well to my left. Beautiful dual vanity station. It's all white with the white cabinetry below. We've got the mirrors. We've got two skylights on either side, bringing in this natural light. And I'm just loving the wood now. It's light in color. It feels super luxurious in here. We've got the nice cream resin flooring, very luxurious chandelier above, beautiful light feature, and a second walk-in shower with a water closet. That is the ensuite. It is magnificent and it does flow through to this side of the bedroom where of course we have the most beautiful bathtub I have ever seen in my life. White, perfectly shaped in the corner of this bedroom. So you've got panoramic views, 12 apostle views from your bath. I love the faucets that they have, the nice chair to the left. This is just a really beautiful and exclusive area. Now, the center of the bedroom does have a beautiful bed that faces that ocean. These doors open up all the way, giving you a perfect indoor, outdoor living experience. We've got automated blinds that come down. We've got this really cool light feature above, which sways in the wind when it is windy, but it's perfectly safe. It's all air conditioned in here. I mean, this is a beautiful primary bedroom. Stepping on outside to the terrace, 
We've got this natural granite stone flooring out here. We've got an infinity fish pond. There are currently two koi fish. No, there are three koi fish actually that live in here. We've got some lilies as well, lily pads, nice furnishings, sunbeds. Guys, look at this view. That's what it's all about up here. It's about looking at that and enjoying being on top of the mountain. And you feel really private and secluded up here. It's completely set back from the road because of the structure of the building and the stacking of the levels as it goes with the gradient of the mountain. By the time you get up to this primary bedroom, it's completely set back from the roadside and there's no noise coming from below and it's completely private as well. Beautiful glass railings, so you have that unobstructed view. We've got nice greenery and foliage around. I mean, this is an incredible space. Imagine sitting up here at night watching the sunset with a glass of wine. This has been an extraordinary home. All right, guys, that does finish the tour of the primary suite and I'll see you for sunset. All right, guys, that does bring us to the end of another incredible episode here on Alia Homes. It has absolutely blown me away, this property. A marvelous masterpiece design by Sayota and our first house back in Cape Town. We couldn't be off to a better start, blessed also by beautiful weather. And I cannot express how much I have loved this house today. Each floor, every level, unique in design and interiors. It all just marries perfectly. And I'd like to give another big thanks to In Residence for inviting us into their property to capture it for you guys. And another reminder, you can rent Obsidian and experience it for yourself for just 90,000 Rand to 170,000 Rand per night, depending on which season. All right, guys, please drop any comments in the section below. We would love to know your thoughts on this house. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.